Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Ipswich Town. We're just finishing off the winter window in January 2024, still having a great shot at the automatic promotion places, even the title itself. Roll the intro! <laughs> So we will cover any last minute dealings in the transfer window. If we head over to the season tab, the standings look like this in Doncaster Rovers, Ipswich Town, second and first with 51 points apiece. Goals for 45, goals against 32, goal difference 13. How ridiculous is that? From 29 games played, it is exactly the same record. Heading over to the calendar, what we got in February. Away day to Barrow and then Northampton Town at home, Salford away, Mansfield at home, Exeter City away. When do we next play Doncaster Rovers away on April the 12th? I would say that that's a bit too far away to cover in this episode, but it is the massive game of the season. Possibly. CD Lugo want a short-term loan here for Cameron Ferguson. There's also FC Sion that are interested. So uh, they both got to act quick, these clubs. Three hours left and there's FC Sion wanting Cameron Ferguson for two years. That would be more preferable, to be honest. Both clubs pulled out at the last minute. There's this Ocon transfer offer that we'll just completely ignore. Before we get any further, here's the highlights from our last live stream. In our last live stream, the characters that we've relied on for good performances very much were at the forefront. Again, Wesley Martino, the best of the bunch. What a surprise. I think the story, though, was at the other end of the spectrum. The bad players. To a settle was awful and was bound to get the negative scenario until he actually scored, which, you know, provoked a quite massive celebration from myself. So then we turned our attention to Eibner, who was a disappearing act in the games that we played, but he then started performing in the simulated games. So the negative scenario was eventually given to Benedict Arling, I guess because he probably should have scored this. As the transfer window approached, we were thinking about selling to a settle, then he scored and started levitating, meaning that he is probably so iconic that he's not for sale for the rest of the series. We've sent him out on loan, brought Win Cole back. He looks like he's got some good feet. Grown up to 60 overall, should be a lovely understudy to Belchior. We said goodbye to one player, a great deal this one. Gavin Grierson being sold for £4 million. Now his valuation was just over £2 million, so I don't think there's going to be many unhappy viewers. That is quite an astronomical price for someone that hasn't really hit the ground running. If you want to watch all of the VODs from this series, it's over on the Cutsy Extra channel on YouTube. And to watch live, it's Cutsy Live on Twitch. Yeah, that was a tremendous sale of Gavin Grierson, and I didn't want to leave us shorthanded, so we immediately looked for a replacement. We got loads of wingers in our youth academy. But I asked the Twitch chat if we wanted to keep it semi-realistic and try and keep a homegrown core around. Of course, losing Gavin Grierson, we had one less, so we had to bring someone in. The majority agreed that that was the right thing to do, so we started out our search in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. Didn't really bring anything exceptional, anything interesting. And then someone suggested the Republic of Ireland, because many Irish players do come over to England quite young. And I also think that the homegrown ruling does count Republic of Ireland as well, from my knowledge. That might not be correct. So searching the free agents for a Republic of Ireland winger, we find Jake Kelly. These are his stats. Now let's give him a personality. Jake Kelly is the pacifist. This player believes any sort of violence shouldn't be tolerated, not even a good old shoulder barge. Minus 10 aggression, probably best to put it on a winger because we're not really looking for aggression anyway. We're looking for some kind of elusiveness. And just to add before we leave this, his potential is currently standing at 71, so it's rather low. We'll just see. We'll see how Kelly goes on. I mean, at the moment, the positive scenarios are getting sweeped by Wesley Martino. You've got to think this team's winning simulated games. We've only got one player below 60 overall. Belchior's just hit 70. Congratulations, being our first 70 overall player. We'll hit the quick sim on Barrow against Ipswich. Oh, yeah, we've lost. It's not really what I expected, but apparently we're now top of the table because Doncaster lost harder. What a tin pot league. Crew Alexandra 
are now on 51 points. Who turned off the lights? We go like that for the next game. Ipswich Town against Northampton. This team should not be losing that heavily. We took the lead with Belchior and then afterwards it was just the shambles. Seems like this is why I've taken a little bit more time with this season. I just can't trust them to get results on the quick sim. Oh, that's class from Belchior. So this third game away against Salford City, if we get a negative result here, I just can't trust the simulation, but we've got this draw, which is acceptable. Winko in the fourth minute scoring for us. We're sliding hideously down to third, 52 points. Newport County, well, they've got that game in hand and only one point behind. This club, Porto Menense, offering a one-year loan for Lamin Secker. It would have been nice to get him out in the winter because we need to give him game time oh and Tremio rovers are interested in our third choice goalkeeper robert upton who doesn't get games because it's awful it's ipswich town against mansfield here goes another simulation here comes another loss kamara and belchior scoring for us i really wanted to get to that doncaster rovers game but if I keep on quick simming to that Doncaster Rovers game, then it won't be important anyway because we'll be so far down the league table. Robert Upton sold and Lamin Seco will be going out on loan at the start of the next season, meaning that we will be able to bring in a winger from the Youth Academy. And then there's another team you are interested in taking Cameron Ferguson out on loan. Looks like, what, a Turkish side? Maybe like the latest three episodes that we've recorded for YouTube. We've been getting scout reports back all the time, and very little has come from it. We start the fight back, I guess. Fourth place, 52 points. Now eight points behind Kral Alexandra. That's how bad the situation has become in a position that we don't deserve to be in if you consider all the good things that we've done in-game. Let's bring in Kelly to the left-hand side. Let's get back to winning ways. Kelly's got his head down. It's Belkio on the big... Is that the big man, wise man, get him up front? Try and get it to him. Mate. Really has been a nothing half of football. But we got Wes Morris McKenzie. And little Wes will put Ipswich in the lead. The team with the worst home record in the league. Staring down the barrel of a gun. I'm honestly surprised. Ooh. And if they can't finish, then there's your problem. You really should have been scoring that. I'm in goal. I don't even think I'm in had to make a save in all of that first half. It wasn't a great half of football. I can say things about extra feeling good, but results are obviously shocking. We got through to Belchior, and that's 2-0. Leach has had five shots for Exeter. Yeah, there's the problem. You've got a player that just simply can't finish up front. Mate, he's not even a forward. Leach is one of the midfielders. You've got a ball hog up. Nice block, wise man. They've substituted the wrong person. Here comes Iman. Nice catch. Belchior will get absolutely shredded. Yellow card. Is it Leach? Max Leach, just stop. Sometimes you find players playing at other clubs that you go, oh, I might sign him. That's definitely a player that I won't be signing. <laughs> just 100% guarantee it. Hey, look, it's Jake Kelly with his first goal for Ipswich. Took that well. Offside flag goes up again. And it's been a really, really competent professional performance by the centre-backs. I mean, they can't distribute to save the lives. But clean sheets is what they're all about. 3-0. Cameron Ferguson is probably going to go to uh, Enzo Cablo Yeni. Malatalispor. Oh, you don't do that. Jake Kelly comes to the manager and goes, I've been playing pretty well lately. Bro, you've played once. Okay, you've scored a goal. You, you did, you know, all right. First off, you were a bit crap. I'm not going to lie. Doesn't mean to say that you can go and request games as you like, especially when we've got Kamara in that position. You're going to have to sit this one out. It's Ipswich Town against Scunthorpe United. Back heel. Love that. Leave it. Oh! A deflection for Luca Aimno. What a perfect start that is for Ipswich. Get in there. Please stay on side. Oh, it's a lovely ping to Westberg. He holds it off. Can't play it in, though. Nicely done by Ipswich Town. Looking classy. Big Okamura challenge. Poor pass, in it? It hits the corner. For oh, my God. He kept it in. Ugh. That'll do. I, I don't understand how that stayed on the field of play. Keeper. Didn't want to come out. Oh, it's a big save, though, by Andy Parry. Through the bodies. He'd seen the ball. 
It was Perry against Parry. That's a cracking save. What a save that is. Hit a plan from post. It's Big Wes with the touch this time. I am so very much in love with this team. What? Oh! <laughs> the keeper. Bad day at the office. All I can say in the goalkeeper's defense is that maybe Westberg's head off. Got a slight deflection. Keeper's coming out. Andy Parry. Oh, what to say? That's what a keeper's supposed to do. Half time tuna lip switch. The balance in this team is beautiful. Wesley Martina getting stuck in. Omrod trying the switch. Lovely ping. Ocon, Okamura, partnership of dreams. This is Wesley Martina. Just start playing it from the back, building up from the back. Could this be one of the memorable goals? Benedict Arling. And try and commentate all the way through it. You never know. Look at the play. Oh, it's a turn by Belchior. They can't touch us at the moment. Belchior trying to wriggle his way through. I've not... I think we can score here. Oh! Lads, what a great, great piece of play. It is Ocon. We're still going. Benedict Arling. Now Belchior. Turn. Oh, he saved it. Keepers really making amends. Oh, we're finding Ocon. Here we go. Onside. Double onside. Oh! Oh, what a goal that is. Maybe goal of the season for us. Outside of the boot there from Belchior. Goalkeeper had no idea what was going on, what day of the month it was. Look at the finish on that. We are outrageously good. It's Ipswich 3, Scunthorpe 0. It's even showcasing that save by Andy Parry to keep the clean sheet. I respect it. So Jake Kelly was disappointed not to feature. Cameron Ferguson going out on loan to Turkey next season and that next season is fast approaching. We're at March the 5th, 2024 now and what I would like to do occasionally through the series is change the kits. Now in the past this would just be done behind the scenes but I want you to have the choice of which kits and which sponsors we will be using next season, okay? I think we'll have three options for the home kit and then there'll be three options for the goalkeeper kit three options for the third shirt, and then three options for the sponsor. Of course, we've got an away kit as well, but uh, a lad on Patreon, Gingered, wanted me to create a specific kit for him. But all you guys get a say on the kits that you see on screen right now. The straw polls will be in the description and also the pinned comment for this episode. So go and get voting. The poll will close as soon as we move into a, a new season because obviously that'll be when the kits will have to take shape. It's felt like a long old season, this one. Let's quick sim Sutton United against Ipswich because the next game is at home against Crew. That's a win. There you go. Belchior and Maurice McKenzie. Maurice McKenzie is a baller. We're going to smash these and it's because we can rotate so well. Ipswich Town against Crew. Belchior going wide. Nice flick. I've not back heel. It's Belchior! Avant! I'm liking Co on the flank. Or should I call him Wing Co? You get it? Please, please tell me you get it. Over the top. Lovely flick. It's Wing Co! Ooh, yeah! 2 0 Ipswich! Took that well! Winko from Myanmar. Martina gets a touch. Back with crew. Looks offside. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, should have collected that. Defense has finally breached. And not out of everybody, you would expect it from top of the table. It is hit up land, keeping him onside. Got a taste for blood, surely. Well, that's 2-2. Two -two. Yet again, Sambu finding that hole that looks potentially offside but isn't. We're just not the same attacking without Belchior. And it might be why Sambu was changed for Carl Alexandra, just fatigue issues. We've slightly bottled that. 2-0 up. 
finishes 2-2 and the five point gap remains. Okay, these guys are not good in simulations, but when I'm playing with them, they're absolutely fantastic. And I can't find anything negative to say about these players. So yeah, again, negative scenario out the window. We know that Wesley Martino is going to go back to back in player of the seasons. Unbelievable today, but we're gonna focus on some unsung heroes. Trevor Westberg and Wes Morris McKenzie. These players are brought into Monksworth's office because they're often looked past and the boss wanted to tell them how pivotal they are to the team, plus one potential. But also because his contribution to this particular episode was massive. Luca Ibner, this player grabs a chicken mayo for 99p plus one potential. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. It's always a pleasure to make these videos for y'all. Get voting for the kits for the next season, please. Links will be down in the description box and the pinned comment. If you've enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. Never miss another upload. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side for supporting me financially on Patreon. Absolute legends of the game. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Well, I thought the wing co joke was really, really funny. You know, because he was on the right hand side. Wing, not chicken wing. No, 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 no. McDonald's Burger King.